Um, so I've got this okay. cut for Catch Me If You Can, and I'm not exactly sure quite where to start it. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking page 12, or okay. just a little bit of an intro. One, two, three, four, one. Oh, I, I got, got a story. Strange but true. And just then just take that the to, to the end. end. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to just try to sing through it real quick? Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, I got a story that's strange but true. Trash. I know. I know the notes. It's just. <laughs> oh, that sounds pretty good. I'm making up a lot of it and opting down, and then I think going. That's fine. That's fine. Because like with the ensemble and all of the mm -hmm. tight triads going underneath yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Makes... So what I was going to talk to you about is yeah. the. I think the most interesting part is mm -hmm. the rests. Okay. Because you say something and you got to rest. But we're still looking at you, mm -hmm. so I think that's like interacting with the ensemble, maybe even interacting with the audience. What does he want? What's the point of the song? Why is he singing it? Well, at first it's to get away from Hanratty and to buy himself some time because he's caught at the airport red-handed. Um, but about he, the... he wants a chance to tell his story, you know? He, he doesn't want to be pinned down and held by the law saying, this is what you are. He wants to be like, no, 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 you don't understand. Let me tell you this awesome story, because I'm awesome. Yeah, the, I think the point of the show is that we all want to be something more than we are. We feel confined by, like, society. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he is kind of a not a good person <laughs> ends up being what is good about him. Yeah. So I think this is his moment to say, I'm going to turn your world upside down. I'm going to show you a different way of looking at things because I am different. I don't know. I, I um, feel that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, so, I'm releasing tension and everything. <laughs> okay. So let's see it again. And I'm really going to watch you in between the, um, the things that you're singing to show this jam, like you're having a really good time and connecting with whoever it is, whoever it is you're speaking to, okay? All right. Tempo's good? Yeah, that works for me, okay. I like it. Oh, I've got a story that's strange but true. With songs like this, with pop stuff that has a lot of percussion underneath it, mm -hmm. your rhythm has to be like spot on. Perfect. Yeah, there was that like, one little section. Well, I'm not sure you're like feeling the one, two, three, four. Uh, 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 I wanna win. Uh, uh, nah, 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 nah. Sometimes you're a little bit ahead of me, mm -hmm. as, a, as opposed to really feeling the pulse. Mm -hmm. So I want to do it again and just really feel like, imagine that you've got drums underneath you. I got you. I yeah. Okay, so uh, really feel the tempo in the intro, which is bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Oh, I got a story that's strange but true. Gotcha. Five, six, seven. Okay. So. Oh, I got a story that's strange but true. Yeah, so you were just the tiniest bit ahead of me. Did you feel it? I think what's going on is I'm not starting on the. 
I'm not starting on the and of four and That's carrying okay. it to one and then syncopating that phrase. Oh, I got a story that's strange but true. Really feel that pulse underneath you. And. Oh, I got a story that's strange but true. That's it. Come fly with me for a bird's eye view. and there was a pulse in you and when you got like the mic on and everything's blaring yes. you can't really hear anything I mean, you yeah. can't hear much um so just check into that beat every time so you're not ahead yes. and then just i just want to see a sense of like fight in this like i am the best i am gonna overcome everything that comes out of this show mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i got you Good, I like that for you. Awesome, thanks. I like that cut for you. I've, I've really wanted to play that role for a few years now. And uh -huh. I feel like, today, I'm I've, I'm trying to like warm up later for the sake of the show tonight, so I'm not like oh. super hyped to yeah. sing this right now, but I know well, it's in my range. I'm not even have you sing today because of the show, but this no, songs I'm aren't that hard, are they? No, not for me. <laughs> okay, well let's, let's just quickly shift gears to that other one. All right, Younger Than Springtime. Uh-huh. All right. You got music for that? I do. Okay. I'm going to use it if you'd like. Okay, great. <clears throat> so this, I really want to see some specific character choices okay. based on what's going on in the music. All right. You know the story? Yes, I do. Okay. I just Good. met this girl. And yes. Well, what, what is the important about y'all's relationship for him? Well, he, he comes from a prejudiced, um, Caucasian background, I guess one could say, and she is a Pacific Islander, and he, he knows that if they're together and he brings her home to Mama, that not going to work out. They will not be accepted. So this is a complete reality shift for him. Yeah. Looking at his entire life differently, and I think it all comes down to this moment in the show. Mm -hmm. It's like, I used to think this, and now I think the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. So we have to see that revelation in him. Okay, shall and it, we? it happens so fast, too, like in the script. It's like they meet, and there's a little bit of dialogue, love and then life. this song happens, and then they make love. Okay. It's great. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, all right, here we go. Let me get just a little bit of water. Sorry. That is empty. I've got another one, though. Good. Thank you. I touch your hand and my arms grow strong like a pair of birds that burst with song. My eyes look down at your lovely face, and I hold the world in my embrace. Younger than springtime, Sweeter than music, are you 
angel and lover, heaven and earth are you to me. And when your youth and joy invade my arms and fill my heart as now. isolate in this. Okay. Number one is the rest on that downbeat. Da, which, da, 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 da. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, why is that there? You know, I'd love to be able to tell you that, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Younger than springtime, are you? I I personally feel like it's a discovery. It's a discovery of I can be better, I can think about things differently. Uh, maybe he's pushing through the wall of, of being afraid to let things in. I think you know that I mean? each rest could and should be something different, and I think it could, like, all of that could be incorporated. Show it. Okay. Show it. I mean, acting is making a choice <coughs> and then showing it to us. And within the confines of musical theater, it's like, are you confined? No, you're not. You just have to use what the composer gave you. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. A lot of people say, well, why would you sing on stage? Well, you have to make that make sense. You have to legitimize right. that. So really show me something every time that <coughs> it's, it's, it's brilliant. It's brilliantly set. But if you don't, if you don't use it then, it, then it goes out the window. Then it's just a sing song. Yeah. Okay, so... And do you think... Well... I mean, that's about like a 32 bar cut ish. You would just start it younger than springtime instead of the opening. Okay. You don't really yeah. need that opening. Um, but we could talk about that too. That also has rest on the downbeat. Yeah. Let's start there, in fact. Younger than. On. All right, so it's your hand. Oh, okay. Here's the rest right here. I touch your hand and my arms grow strong. Search for the next thing. What is that like? It's it's like a pair of birds that burst with song. Look down at her face. See her face. Look ahead. My eyes look down at your lovely face. So text right here. And I hold the word. So I'm yelling subtext at you. I, I feel like the subtext right there, I hold the world, is about growing and being better and seeing the world differently than he did before. So it's fighting through what he was used to. Just anything other than you're beautiful and I love you. That's obvious that he loves her and you yeah. know, wants to hold her and be with her. The less obvious is how he's changed as a result of knowing her. Mm -hmm. Which I think is the equation of all musicals. Yeah. Man meets girl, or man meets woman. Man changes because woman shows man whatever. Yeah. Okay? So Sometimes she, it's the girl who changes, too. It is. True. Well, they both change. Yeah. Um, Even in the old golden agey stuff like this, they both change. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, this is where it started. Yeah. Really, Oklahoma. Yeah. You know, you Truly. showboat, arguably. But um, let's do my eyes look down. Okay. And really show me a big shift as you talk about the world. Okay? Alright. So. My eyes look down at your lovely face. What have you learned? And I hold the world in my embrace. And then the rest of this is a bunch of discoveries. Younger than springtime, oh. are you sweeter than starlight? Oh. Are you Good. warmer 
than winds of June are the gentle lips you gave me. Gayer than laughter, need are you? I need you. Sweeter than music, are you? Angel and lover. chapter two mm -hmm. of the song or chapter three if you include the opening what is this part about this so i think the music gives you a lot with this because it changes so much because it goes from da 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 to like a driving thing yeah dun, 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 usually we move that tempo it yeah. doesn't say a cello rondo but typically people will do that's so what we're how, doing for juries yeah um, so how do you explain that tempo shift um part of it I think is definitely an excitement. Like he's got all of this information that's just excitement. running through his head. But more, um, be more specific. Like specifically, what is the excitement? Yeah. Um, well, he sees this girl and he's like, dang, shawty. Mm. So part of it's like this sexual drive towards her because... Okay. And, and he's amorous. And he's amorous. Like it's see, it's a pure see, with thing. You you sing beautifully, but sometimes I feel like your choices are on the general realm. Yeah. And I want you to go into the inner circle and find the specific choice. That's going to be the cutting edge for you. I know. So you think it's he's amorous. He wants to he wants to be close to her. Oh yeah. I kind of think it's like urgent. Like I've got to do this now because I need to be close to you. Because what might happen? Uh, some. Somebody might see them. Somebody might see them and, and tear them apart. Yeah. Or he might get killed in the war. Yeah. It's like Which a, does happen. Yeah. Okay, so let's yeah. make a choice to legitimize why we're changing the tempo, why we're going into a different section. All right. Okay. I got let's you. go, Angel and Lover. Angel and Lover, heaven and earth are you to Shift. Me. And when your youth and joy invade my arms and fill my heart as now they do. Good. What were you thinking? It's it. I'm honestly thinking like this is happening to me right now. Okay. Like when your youth and joy, her when it invades my arms and it fills my heart as now it does. Okay, can you put that in context of objective? What does he want? What does he need? I need you now because if I don't, ha if I don't have you now, then I may never have you. Someone mm -hmm. may take you away from me. I might die. Carpe diem kind of energy. Sure. Okay. Yes. Let's go right on it. And when your youth and joy in and fill my heart as now they do. Then, younger than springtime, am I? Gayer than laughter, am I? Angel and lover, heaven and earth, am I? repeat of the opening I saw something different if it was a victory mm -hmm. yeah I think you invariably have to do that mm -hmm. I think the opening needs to be more discovery and I'm changed I'm looking at things differently the middle section I think is urgent mm -hmm. amorous the choice that you make I like that too because they're young and, and you it's know. also like it's a fine line to walk so that you're steering the audience's mind in the right way because oh you have you, to because Audiences. you got this strong American soldier coming to this young, beautiful island girl, and prejudice, beautiful. Sometimes a guy will throw that aside and just get with the beauty and ditch her. But especially in a scene where it's like we just meet and there's already somewhat of a seduction going on, it has to be pure and noble. Otherwise, the audience is going to hit a little of this. Well, he's probably been with a bunch of other women. Probably. You know, when you're a soldier and you're, you know, 
on the road, whatever. But this is different. Yeah. And I think it's different because of what he's been learning mm -hmm. through Emil and the, the situation in the plot. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. Doesn't that come before this? I believe so. You have to be carefully taught? Yes, it does. You know that song? Yeah. Okay, so that, that seed is already planted, so he sees this woman, whereas before he would have just slept with her. Yeah. It but happens now, like a couple of songs before, so it's relatively recent. This is very important for you as a young lead type to understand this archetype of, you know, change, growing, fighting through the old you because you know you know that you need to be better. Mm -hmm. But you but what you're giving up is, you know, freedom, independence, all that stuff that we associate with, you know, being a young bachelor or whatever. Yeah. Um and then just don't be afraid to dissect. Dissect your music, figure out what the opening is, figure out what the first verse is, figure out what the bridge is, and then the repeat. I think a, a good plan um, is great, especially when you're nervous and you're in the audition. Well, confidence equals preparation. So if you're prepared, yeah. you don't have anything to really be nervous about. The thing is, it's not enough just to, to emote Right. You know what I mean? And that's a thing for you. You know, your, your background has been great voice, great stage presence, but how are you going to, how are you going to structure your acting mm -hmm. so that we get an arc? We get and that's, that's the thing. I figured that out really well and really effectively when I'm in a role in a show because I've got time to explore and ah. try things uh -huh. and I'm like really delving into the story and I'm, I'm you know great what? at storytelling, but doing it by yourself for like one song out of context that's a very good point you have to you have to explore your songs like you were actually in the show you have to know yeah. the show that well mm -hmm. so that you can go through each scene in the first scene he does this in the second scene this happens the third scene he's with her mm -hmm. the last scene i don't know what happens i haven't seen south pacific in a while same <laughs> um but that kind of context gives you more information to work with. Yeah. I think what happens after this scene is he, like, obviously they make love, but eventually he's like, yeah, I don't think this is going to fly because um, Bali High woman, um, beautiful girl's mom, Her is like, you have to get married now. And he's like, ha! You thought we can't do that. And then uh, she's like, okay, well. You're lost. You're gonna have to marry what's her face over there, old ugly lady. And then he's like, "Well, dang, I lost everything." And then he goes off the battle and dies. Okay. Really tragic. <laughs> but the lesson to the audience is: don't make the mistake that he made. Yeah. You know, it, it's either the lead makes a choice that's good and wins, or makes a bad choice and loses. But whatever the case, the the lesson to the audience is the same. Yes. Um. Okay. Good. All right. What else? Are we at time? Oh, we got seven minutes. Let's right. see this whole thing again. Okay. And I really want specific choices. <clears throat> All right. Okay. This is also how I get my hair slicked down for the show, because I've got mm -hmm. a lot of hair, and it's curly and unruly. So I put wow. a beanie on after I shower, and it dries it out flat, and then I can just... Slick it back. Got you. The more you know. <laughs> Yes. Rest on the downbeat is very important to me. I have to see something on it, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Okay. Otherwise it would just be... I touch your hand. But it's not. It's... Uh, I touch your hand. There's already like urgency in the very first statement. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy that. I touch your hand and my arms grow strong. What's it like? What's it like? Like a pair of birds. 
hearts that burst with songs. See her. My eyes look down at your lovely face. And I hold the world in my embrace. Younger than spring Softer than starlight, are you? Warmer than winds of June are the gentle lips you gave me. Gayer than laughter, are you? Sweeter than music, are you? Angel and lover, heaven and earth, are you? to me, Treat. and when your youth and joy invade my arms and fill my heart as now they coming. do, Anticipate the victory. then younger than springtime am I, gayer than laughter Angel and lover, heaven and earth, am I with you? Good, good, yeah. yeah. The more specific you can be, the better. Because generality is the kiss of death. Uh -huh. You with me? I'm... Right there when you. I see somebody making big choices, then it tells me, oh, I can direct that person. Mm -hmm. You know, they've chosen for the B section to be amorous and urgent. But maybe as a director, I want to dial that back. I want to say, okay, can, now can you do it sweeter and more right. soft and more sensitive? But the fact that it's shown that they're doing something knows, I think, it lets you know that they can change. Yeah, then they'll adjust you in the callback, and they'll be right. like, okay, can you not do that so urgently? Can we take the tempo down and play it more tender and sweet and soft? Mm -hmm. You know? Yes, sir? Where's my keys? Oh, it's keys. Okay. I was going to steal your car. <laughs> All right, Alex. Well, uh, really nice work. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Can I have my music? Oh, <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it, as always. Yeah, that's that's what I want for you, is to uh, make some really big choices. And I think you're really great to just bounce ideas off of. Thanks. You know what I mean? Because you have good instincts, but you, but you tend to go on the general side at times. I do. And I, I know this. Your, your background. It's definitely part of it. Mm -hmm. um, the other part is like, in high school, my director didn't really tell us to make choices per se. Yeah. It was just like, sound good, do emote, go up there and be the character. And I mean, people do things and they make choices because they want things. So it's human nature. On the stage. Well, in a professional environment, no, nobody's going to tell you to do any of this stuff. Yes. You just have to do it on your own. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you'll always have a coach. You'll always have somebody giving you no doubt. feedback. Hopefully. No, I, I plan to have somebody like that yeah. at all times. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. Well, I will see you tonight. Yes, sir. Yes. Of course. One more weekend of shows.